Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Kayo po ay nakikinig sa programang Radyo EMI, Facebook Live, Tinig ng Biyaya ng Diyos, sa paglilingkod ng Emmanuel Ministry Institute. Ako po si Bishop Emmy, ang inyong tagapagturo. Kasama ko po si Pastora Joe Domingo. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Para po sa inyong mga kahilingan sa panalangin, mari po kayong mag-comment o mag-PM dito sa EMI Facebook. Kagalakan po namin may panalangin ang inyong mga kahilingan. Bago po tayo magpatuloy, narito po si Bishop Emmy para sa isang paanyaya. Malugod po namin kayong inaanyayahan na mag-aral sa Emmanuel Ministry Institute para sa mga programa ng pag-aaral, Certificate in Home Bible Study, Certificate in Church Ministry, Diploma in Biblical Studies, Associate in Ministry, Bachelor of Ministry, Certificate in Master Studies, Master in Applied Church Ministry, Pastors Academy. Ang pag-aaral sa EMI ay libre o tuition free. Para sa karagdagang impormasyon, bisitahin po ang aming website www.emi.ph o mag-comment o kaya'y mag-PM dito lang sa EMI Facebook. Samahan po ninyo kami sa gabing ito sa pag-aaral ng Salita ng Diyos. Muli, narito ang ating tagapagturo, ang Direktor ng Emmanuel Ministry Institute, Bishop Emmy. All who rely on observing the law, meaning self-performance, are under curse. For it is written, curse is everyone who does not continue to do everything written in the book of the law. Ang circumcision is only part of the book of the law. If you choose to be righteous before God by performance, you have to do everything. Pero you cannot do everything since we are fallen human being. Hindi natin kayang gawin lahat. So we cannot keep the whole law. Verse 11, clearly, no one is justified before God by the law. Because the righteous will live by faith, not by works. Verse 12, the law is not based on faith. You make a choice by faith or by law. If you choose by faith, you do not need the law. If you choose the law, you cannot operate by faith. It's not law and faith. It is law or faith choice. Now look at the next line. The man who does these things will live by faith. Verse 13, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. What is the law? Self-performance. By becoming a curse for us. For it is written, curse is everyone who is hanged on the tree. Nang si Cristo ay nabayubay sa cruz, siya po'y naging sumpa. Alang-alang sa atin, inako niyang sumpang para sa atin. Verse 14, he redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus. Oh, I like this part. So that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. Question. What is the promise of the Spirit? Do you understand? Look up here. What is the promise of the Spirit? Of the Spirit. Do you want to know? What is the promise of the Spirit? Blessing. Pinangakuan ba ni, ng Diyos Abraham ng pagpapala? This is the promise of the Spirit. The blessing. Look at this part. So that by faith. Not by works. So that by faith. We might receive the promise of the Spirit. Now listen. How to receive the promise of the Spirit? Is it by works? Or is it by faith? By faith. So the moment you believe the Lord Jesus Christ, you are entitled to the blessing of Abraham. You don't have to perform. You don't have to. Just believe in your heart that I am a child of God. I am entitled to God's protection plan. When you go out, paglabas nyo sa bahay ninyo, you just say, God, I am entitled for your protection today. I give myself two thumbs up and I declare I am Charito. Today is Charito day. I am a Charito child and I am blessed and highly favored today. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Do you believe that? 
Do you believe that? Righteousness is by faith, not by works. Righteousness is by faith, not by works. Righteousness is a gift, not a reward. Praise God. It's a gift. Anong natatanggap ng tao pag nagtrabaho? Sweldo. Anong natatanggap ng tao pag siya'y nagsumikap? Premyo. Brothers and sisters, sa taong hindi nagtrabaho, ang natatanggap niya ay regalo. We did not work for this. Praise God for the grace of God. We receive it by faith. Shout amen. amen. Let's give the Lord a clap of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Romans 5.17 And if by the one man's offense, referring to Adam's offense, death reigned through the one, much more, those who receive abundance of grace. Hindi lang grace. Abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. Ano po ang tawag ng Bible sa righteousness? Come on, look up here, everybody. Anong tawag ng Bible sa righteousness? Gift. If it is a gift, did you work for it? No. You just receive it. And how do you receive it? By faith. What is faith? You believe. You believe. Hindi mo nakitang si Kristo'y namatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo, pero naniniwala kang siya'y namatay. Hindi mo siya nakitang inilibing, pero naniniwala kang siya'y inilibing. Hindi mo nakitang siya'y muling nabuhay, pero naniniwala kang siya'y muling nabuhay. Hindi mo siya'y nakitang umakyat sa langit, pero naniniwala kang siya'y umakyat sa langit. Hindi mo nakita na sa langit naghahanda siya ng palasyo para sa atin. And yet you believe at naniniwala ka isang araw, siya'y muling babalik upang tayo kunin at mapa sa Panginoon, magpakailan, kailan pa man. Do you believe? Jesus said, Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you, I will go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. Jesus said, I will come again and receive you unto myself. For where I am, there you may be also. Do you believe? Palakpakan natin ng Panginoon. I believe, Lord. I believe, Lord. Do you believe? I believe. Sa nga raw, pag kayo natulog at hindi na kayo nagising, believe this, you will be in heaven. What a great promise. Amen? Malakas na palakpak para sa Panginoon. Amen. Are you righteous? Our right to the abundance of grace is based on the gift of righteousness. Bago matanggap yung abundance of grace, bago to, yung masaganang pabor ng Diyos, kailangan mo muna matanggap yung gift of righteousness. Because ang may karapatan lang ang may karapatan lang sa abundance of grace ay yung meron pong gift of righteousness. And Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. Was Abraham abundantly blessed? Was Abraham abundantly blessed? Because he was righteous by faith. Now, we call it stamp of favor. You got it. You already been stamped with the favor of God. You don't sweat for it. You don't cry over it. You don't beg for it. Jesus said, God, I believe. I believe. When you wake up in the morning, I believe that this day is charito day. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I believe I am a charito child. I believe this is my day. I believe this day is blessed and highly favored of God. Now, what are you doing? I am declaring. Because the Bible says, if you believe, you declare. And if you declare, you believe. Do you do that? You have to do that every day. Now, listen to me, brothers and sisters. Our righteousness is not based on our performance. It is based on the gift. Ephesians 4.24 And to put on the new self, referring to your born-again spirit, created to be like God in true righteousness. So your born-again spirit is true righteous. 
and holy before God. 1 Corinthians 1.30 It is because of him that you are in Christ Jesus. Are you in Christ Jesus? Who has become for us one, wisdom from God. Two, righteousness. Three, holiness. Four, redemption. Jesus is our righteousness and holiness. That's why you are forever, forever righteous and holy before God. Amen. Now, Romans 5.17 again. This time I want to read this in the Amplified Version. Romans 5.17. For if because of one man's trespass, referring to Adam's, first Adam's trespass, death reigned through that one. Much more. Surely, will those who receive overflowing grace, look at this, overflowing grace and the pre-gift of righteousness. Ah, so powerful. Pre-gift of righteousness reign as kings in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Now, brothers and sisters, our right to reign as kings in life is based on the gift of righteousness. If you have this gift of righteousness, you have the abundance of grace, and you have the right to reign as kings in life. You are the head and not the tail. Can you say amen? You will reign. You will reign financially. You will reign physically. You will reign materially. You will reign. Now, it's just a matter of time. Don't be in a hurry. You are future millionaires. If you believe, just believe. The problem is you do not believe. Oh, Pinanganak kaming mahirap, mamamatay kaming mahirap. Pinanganak kaming daga, mamamatay kaming daga. Mali, pinanganak kang bugwit, mamamatay kang daga. Why? Sabagat that's what you believe. Yun ang pinaniniwalaan mo, yun ang niyayakap mo. That's why that is happening to you. But if you begin to believe, and believe, and believe, and confess, I am Charito. I am blessed and highly favored. I am the head and not the tail. Amen? Amen? Praise God. It's just a matter of believing. Do you believe? Do you believe? Yes. That's the key. You have to believe. So you can reign as kings in life. You cannot reign as kings. If you are a doubter, doubter, ooh, maniwala ako. Ooh, mamamatay na ako. Ooh, hirap ng buhay ito. Ooh, malas. Ooh, ganito na ang buhay. Hi, buhay. Pag tinanong ka, kamusta na? Hi, ito. Nakakarahos pa unti-unti. Kamusta na ang buhay? Ito. Isang uud na lang, hindi pumipirma. I feel so sorry for you. Kung yan ang tingin mo sa buhay, walang kabuhay-buhay ang buhay mo. Pero pag nakita mo ang buhay, mula sa pananaw na ikaw ay na kay Kristo, ito ang pinakamasayang buhay, sapagat ang buhay ay na kay Kristo. Shout Amen! Amen! Your performance does not affect your position with God. Gusto ko pong linawin na yung position mo kay God, ang tawag po dyan rightness. Yung performance mo hindi nakakaapekto ng righteousness mo. Hindi po. Hindi naapektuhan ang righteousness mo. Because you receive it by faith, you are righteous before God by faith, your performance does not affect your righteousness. You know what? Anong sabi ng mundo? Walang forever? Di ba yun ang sabi nila? Walang forever? <laughs> Meron. You are forever Righteous. <laughs> Shout amen. amen. <laughs> Kaya wag niyong sabihing walang forever. Wala. Well, wala talagang forever na kabayo dahil namamatay lahat ng kabayo. Pero merong forever. Righteous. Amen. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. Shout amen. amen. Well, lahat ba ng kabayo namamatay? Oh, tinatanong ko kayo, di kayo sumasagot. Natatakot ba kayo sumagot? <laughs> lahat ba ng kabayo namamatay? Oh, namamatay lahat ng kabayo, kaya walang kabayong forever. Pero meron pong 
forever righteous. Are you forever righteous? Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. You are forever righteous. Come on, everybody say, I am forever righteous. Forever righteous. Now, Pastor, saan sa Bible yan? Let me show you the verse. Hebrews 10.14 Because by one sacrifice, He has made perfect forever. Now, what part of this is not clear? What part of that verse cannot be understood? Ang linaw-linaw, kahit bulag makikita yan, kakapain lang. Kitang-kita, because by one sacrifice, kaninong sacrifice? Jesus' sacrifice, by one sacrifice, He has made past tense, He has made Perfect. What's the next word? Those who are being made holy. Tayong tinutukoy. You are forever righteous. You are forever perfect. Can you shout amen? amen. Sabihin mo sa iyong katabi, kahit ganyan ka, you are forever righteous. Para nakaka-open, Pastor. Ha? Pero gano'n na yun. Dahil kung titignan mo sarili mo sa salamin, alam mong hindi ka righteous by your performance. But praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You made us righteous by your sacrifice. Shout Amen! amen. Now, do you want to enjoy God's protection plan? Answer me. Do you want? Yes. Do you want to enjoy it 24-7? Do you want to enjoy while you're sleeping? Sabi ng Bible, the, the angel of the Lord encompassed the righteous. Do you want to enjoy that? Gusto niyong maranasan na kahit lumalakad ka sa gitna ng mga viruses, hindi tumatalab sa iyo? Gusto mong maranasan na sa gitna ng aksidente, God will deliver you? Let me tell you, the secret is practicing His righteousness. You must learn to practice His righteousness every day. You are righteous not by works. You are righteous by faith. Amen? Now, let's see the diagram again. You see right there, Genesis 14, El Elyon. Genesis 17, El Shaddai. Somewhere in between, Genesis 15, righteousness by faith. Now, isa na lang ang natitira. This is very, very important sapagkat nakikita na natin ng larawan. Genesis 15, righteousness by faith. So, ano ang mayroon sa Genesis 16? Next week, we are going to talk about this next week. Are you excited? Yes. Learning God's word is one at a time. Building blocks, another block, another block. But I tell you, slowly we're learning. Now, kung mag na this week, no problem. We'll see in heaven. I'll see you in heaven. Kung mag na this week. Pero kung hindi pa, come again next week, bring some more people. For the meantime, the big idea in Christ, I am protected every day. Come on, shout it out. Kamayan mo muna ang iyong katabi. Tumigil ka muna magsulat. Kamayan mong katabi mo, sabi mo sa kanya, in Christ, I am protected. What is the big idea? Let's pray. Lord, salamat kay Kristo kami po'y protektado araw-araw. Salamat na intindihan na namin. Unti-unti, nagiging malinaw sa amin. Nagiging klaro that God's protection plan is so good because we can experience it. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty in the context of righteousness by faith. We don't have to beg it. All we have to do is believe it by faith that we are righteous and that we are entitled to God's protection plan. In Jesus' name. And everybody would say, Amen. Palakpakan natin ang malakas ang Panginoon. Come on. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikipag-aralan sa amin. 
Ang aralin ay pagpapatuloy sa lunes dito sa Radyo Iyamay Facebook Live. Para sa mga katanungan, mag-PM lang dito sa Iyamay Facebook. Bago po tayo magpaalam, muli narito po si Bishop Emmy para sa isang paanyaya. Inaanyayahan kita na tanggapin ng Panginoong Jesus sa iyong puso bilang Panginoon at sariling tagapagligtas. Sumunod ka sa panalangin ito. Panginoong Jesus, ako po'y makasalanan. Hindi ko kayang iligtas ang aking sarili. Ako'y mapapahamak ng hiwalay sa iyo. Ako po'y naniniwala na ikaw ay namatay at muling nabuhay. Umakyat sa langit at muling babalik. Patawarin mo po ako sa lahat ng aking kasalanan. Tinatanggap kita sa aking puso bilang Panginoon at sariling tagapagligtas. Amen. Amen. Malugod po namin kayong inaanyayahan na dumalo sa EMI Sunday Services sa mga oras na 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m., at 7 p.m. Sa EMI Center, NLEX, Valenzuela Exit, Paso de Blas, Valenzuela City. Our worship services are open for all. Para sa karagdagang impormasyon, maaari ninyong i-browse ang EMI Facebook o bisitahin ang aming website www.emi.ph Si Bishop Emmy ay sumulat ng mahigit na isandaang booklets. Para po sa karagdagang impormasyon at iba pang mga produkto ng EMI, Bisitahin ang Facebook ng Charito Shop at makipag-ugnayan kay Ms. Jam Domingo. At sa aming pagwawakas, muli ang programang Radyo Iyamay Facebook Live. Tinig ng biyaya ng Diyos ay paglilingkod na ginagawa ng Emmanuel Ministry Institute na matatagpuan sa Enlex, Valenzuela Exit, Paso de Blas, Valenzuela City. Para sa karagdagang impormasyon sa gawain ng EMI, mari ninyong i-browse ang EMI Facebook o bisitahin ang aming website www.emi.ph. Sa pangalan po ng programang Radyo EMI Facebook Live, kasama ng ating tagapagturo, Bishop Emmy, ako si Pastora Jo na sa inyo'y nagpapaalala. Tayo'y lumago at magpatuloy sa biyaya ng Diyos.